This, this is Entertainment 97. Entertainment 97. Welcome to Entertainment 97. For the love of music. Information, reviews, the movies, and the party scene. Entertainment 97. Coming up, local and international entertainment news highlights. Entertainment flashback in 60 seconds. This week's hot happenings and check this out. Good afternoon, I'm Heather Cummings Williams, and this is Entertainment 97. Heading this week's local entertainment news, two more Jamaican classics have hit record sales in the United Kingdom. Which ones are they? What's your rewind? Well, let's see if you guessed it right. Bob Marley and the Whalers' Buffalo Soldier has now been certified platinum after topping sales of 600,000 units. Plus, Murder, She Wrote by Shaka Demas and Pliers has been awarded gold certification for selling more than 400,000 copies. This accomplishment comes 30 years after the project was first released. In international entertainment, Netflix's gigantic hit series Squid Game is officially back on the roster of returning shows. The widely popular South Korean show has been granted a second season after show producers unofficially mentioned they were open to continuing to another season. Squid Game is a fictional drama where contestants in dire need of money play children's games with a deadly spin to win cash prizes. The show was the streaming network's biggest ever series launch and is the platform's first ever Korean series to reach number one in the United States. Still in international entertainment, songbird Jennifer Hudson made history last weekend by becoming the second black woman to join the exclusive EGOT club. Hudson now joins the likes of fellow black woman Whoopi Goldberg, who secured wins in all four of America's main show business awards, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and the Tony Awards. This week's entertainment flashback in 60 seconds reflects on Marcia Lynneth Griffiths, the living musical legend who remains one of the most influential women in the history of reggae music. She first made a name for herself when reggae music was still evolving from ska and rock steady, and Marcia became Bob Marley's assistant shortly after. She was born in Kingston, Jamaica on November 23rd, and that's also my birthday, and displayed an interest in music at a tender age, singing in the church choir and regularly taking part in musical presentations at school. Her first steps towards a professional career was at the age of 15. After Marcia's successful debut, she became a singer with Byron Lee and the Dragonaires and eventually got signed to a record deal with Studio One. Marcia scored her first major hit with the 1967 single Feel Like Jumping, which was a rock steady number that charted in Jamaica and Great Britain. She would also enjoy chart success with Melody Life and Truly before releasing her first album, Marcia Griffiths at Studio One. And that's your bite for this week. Tune in next week, same time, same place, for another epic entertainment flashback in 60 seconds. In this week's Hot Happenings, Charlene presents her all-white birthday party this evening, Friday, June 17, at 8 p.m. sharp. Head to Beirut Marketplace. Bring a gift, food on the house. Head over to Bear Mug Fridays today with Crazy Chris starting at 5 o'clock. All roads lead to East Japanese Restaurant, New Kingston. So come, hola vibe. Help Ryan DJ Smoke get his quadruple bypass surgery done. Go to the official Father's Day fundraiser this Sunday, June 19 at Chill Pond Hill, Main Road, Golden Spring. The young lion Craig Ross will be spinning hits, so be there and support. And head to Get a Misfits 2 for Father's Day this Sunday, June 19. It's going to be an exciting show at the Courtly Auditorium, starting 5 p.m. sharp. Visit spuropen.com slash ghetto misfits for details. Go check out Wait For You by American rapper Future, featuring Nigerian sensation Thames and Canadian rapper Drake. The track has been making ripples across social media for its overall vibe, which is being used by a number of social media users for their TikToks and Reels. 
So go check out Wait For You and add it to your playlists. And that's it for Entertainment 97. I'm Heather Cummings-Williams, the last time I checked. Thanks to technical producer Edson Johnson and producer Abigail Wilson. Tune in for your weekly dose of entertainment scoops every Friday inside Cool Rhythms with Entertainment 97.